Hello friends, in this webcast we are going to talk about the concept of rigid body in engineering mechanics. When we can assume a body as rigid body. A rigid body is a body that assumes the change in shape is negligible when subject to external force. The rotation about mass center is not negligible and we use the same relationship of particle plus we have to account for the rotation in rigid body. The size of the body also cannot be negligible. Finally, the motion is characterized by the motion of its mass center. So now let's see some examples what do we mean by this definition first let's talk about why the change in shape is negligible for a rigid body a body goes some form of deformation upon application of load but it may be neglected compared with overall dimension of the body or with the change in position of the body. Since those deformation will be very small, we can neglect that change in shape. For example, if we look at the tennis ball, when the ball is hit, it is translating and rotating at the same time. If we study the motion of the tennis ball compared to that change the small change or deformation of the tennis ball is negligible so we can assume or neglect the change in shape of the tennis ball thus it simplifies the problem similarly if we look at the mechanism here the gear teeth when it rotates apply forces on each other Thus, it also goes under deformation. But compared to the size of the gear, the, sh um, the shape change is very small. Thus, we can neglect that, assuming the body as a rigid body. Now, let's talk about why a rigid body rotation about mass center cannot be neglected. For a rigid body, if we think for example, example the image the chair if we apply the load from the back to push the chair forward the chair can tip over or slide so there will be a rotation tendency and to find that answer we cannot assume this body as a particle and we cannot neglect the rotation we have to consider it for a rigid body we can use the similar relationship of particle plus we have to account for the rotation part in rigid body analysis. For example, on the left, we have the equation that we know for particle motion. <coughs> for rigid body analysis, we can connect those linear velocity with the angular velocity omega and we can have similar equations for angular velocity as the particle motion if you see the similarities now if we look at the bottom of the left side particle motion equation f equals to ma but if we apply the same relationship for rigid body since we have to consider for rotation we have the force f equals to ma g of mass center we're going to talk about that next slides in addition we also have to consider the moment the rotation part which is i and multiplied by alpha alpha is the angular acceleration and i is the mass moment of inertia there is also a difference between the normal reaction when we assume a body as particle or rigid body if we see the example of the car here the weight 
will be acting downward towards the mass center. But the normal reaction of a particle would be to against the weight towards the mass center. But for rigid body, we cannot assume that the reaction force is towards the mass center. Since we have to consider the rotation tendency of the force on the body, we have to assume the reaction force R to the tires. Now let's talk about why the size of the body cannot be neglected. In particle, it's a point so we can neglect the size, but in rigid body, we have the weight downward, we have the reaction force upward, and we also have the friction force if the car is moving at both tire, and we also have the force due to acceleration in x direction. Thus, we have to take account the moment about mass center or any point. We cannot neglect the size of the car because without those distances, we cannot take moment. Thus, the body size cannot be neglected. Finally, for a rigid body, the motion is characterized by the motion of its mass center. Though the size or shape of the car is not uniform, we have to take the entire car or entire body, the rigid body motion as the motion of its mass center. And that's why in previous slides we had F equals to M A G. G means acceleration about mass center. Now let's take a quick test of our learning so far. If we see the image, in the crankset load is applied on the pedal, thus the crankset will rotate. Can we consider the crankset as a particle motion? Hmm. You can pause the video and think and come up with your answer to compare your answer with the correct answer. The answer is no. We have to assume this body as a rigid body. Since we are talking about rotation and rotation depends on the length from the center point to the point where the force is applied, thus we also have to consider the shape. And that's why we cannot assume this problem as a particle, but we can assume this as a rigid body. Let's do another test. If we see at the image, the rider wants to do a wheelie, taking the front driving by putting the front wheel up. We need to determine the required friction on the rear wheel. Can we consider the car as a rigid body motion? You can again pause the video and come up with your answer to compare your answer with the card. Yes, it will be a rigid body. Since we have to consider that there is no reaction force at the top wheel and there will be reaction force, normal reaction force only the, on the rear wheel, thus we cannot neglect the size and we have to take the rotation tendency. Thus, we, we cannot assume the bike as a particle, but a rigid body. So that was it for today. Next, we will have a comparison of the concept of particle and rigid body in our next video. So if we see the image on the left, a same problem, the truck with a crate, if we are just only focusing on the distance traveled by the truck, we can assume the whole body as a particle. But the same problem if we are focused, what is the acceleration of the crate on the truck due to the acceleration of the truck, then we have to assume it's a rigid body problem. So we'll see with more examples the comparison. Thanks for watching.
see you in next video thank you